A CT is a really useful test to have done as it allows doctors to get very clear pictures of the inside of your body. Keith has been asked to come to the x-ray department. This is sometimes also called radiology. A doctor has recommended Keith have a CT scan. This could help with Keith's treatment. When Keith receives the letter, he is able to tell the x-ray department if he needs extra help. For example, he might need a longer appointment. If you need extra support, you can call the number on your appointment letter. Or, if you are already in hospital, you can talk to the staff looking after you. Keith must also tell the x-ray department if he has any allergies. Some allergies might stop him having a CT. You may be asked to come early for your appointment in order to take a drink to prepare you for the scan. If you're pregnant or think that you might be pregnant, then please contact the hospital on the telephone number in your letter. Staff will then check if we could still do your test. Keith arrives at the x-ray department with Tom. Tom is Keith's support worker. They follow the signs to the x-ray department. They talk to the receptionist. Keith shows the receptionist his appointment letter. When you arrive in the x-ray department, you will need to check in at the reception desk where you will be asked to confirm your full name, date of birth and address. You will then be asked to take a seat in the waiting area. The radiographer meets Keith and Tom in the waiting area. She checks that the full name and date of birth she has for Keith is correct. Keith then gets changed into a hospital gown. He is asked to remove any watches or jewellery. Keith then goes into the CT room. Tom can only come into the CT room with Keith before and after the scan, but he will be nearby if Keith needs support and to make sure Keith is OK. The radiographer explains what is going to happen. She explains that a CT scan lasts just a few minutes. She explains that Keith will need to keep very still. This is so the scanner can take the best pictures possible. The radiographer asks Keith to lie down on the bed in front of the scanner. She needs to put a cannula into Keith's arm. This means putting a small tube into Keith's arm. The radiographer uses an injection to put it in. The tube will have dye go through it. This means the scanner can see inside Keith's body. This can give you a warm and wet feeling, but only for a very short time. This is normal and nothing to worry about. When Keith is ready, the radiographer presses a button. This moves Keith inside the scanner. He lies very still and the radiographer asks him to hold his breath. This is just for a few moments, so the scanner can take pictures. When the scan has finished, Keith is brought out on the bed. He has a few moments to sit up. The radiographer explains that the results will be sent to his doctor. The radiographer takes the cannula out of Keith's arm. After your appointment, the results will be sent to the doctor who sent you for the test. You will not be given any results on the day. The radiologist looks at Keith's results on a computer. This helps the hospital to decide if Keith needs to come back or if he needs treatment. Today, the CT scanner is looking inside Keith's chest. But sometimes, a CT scan can look inside your head, leg, or another part of your body. If you have any worries or feel that you have any further needs, please contact the hospital on the number in your letter. We can arrange a slightly longer appointment time and if needed, we can arrange an interpreter. 